Hi, I'm Gabriella from iSolutions, and today I'm going to be showing you how to send sales order confirmations inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. So to get started, I'm going to open up Business Central and go to the customers and select the customer record. From here, I'm going to do new document and create a sales order. This is where I'm going to be putting in the items. And from here, you can click print send and then email confirmation. From here, you can update who this is being sent to. I'm going to leave my own email so that this um, sales order gets sent to me, but you can change the email here and then select send email. So let me go to my email and see if it's come through at this point. And it has, here it is. This is what your customer will be receiving. This is where they can click to pay. They can review everything on here and then click to pay. And this is the screen they will be taken to. So they can scroll down, put their name and their credit card information. I'm just going to enter some generic info. And they're going to click authorize payment. From here, they're going to get a screen showing that their payment was approved. And you can go back in and open up the sales order. I'm just going to refresh this page. OK. Um, this is where you can put in any shipping charges that you need to add, um, but you're going to see that the authorized amount was 38020. Um, so once you put in any additional charges that you might have to add, um, you can go ahead and post the order. All right, it was successful, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And it shows me that the status is now closed. Looks like it is good to go. So your customer will also receive an email. Letting them know that their payment went through successfully. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the iSolutions team at support at iSolutionsGroup.com or go to our website isolutionspayments.com slash contact, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much.